So what do you guys think about the furry carpet and the furry toilet top under? <laughs> I don't know, I like it. <laughs> I think it looks good with the barn theme. Frank seems to like it, but Caitlin, not so much. She says it, it looks tacky. So what do you think? It's not permanently on the toilet yet. I just have it laid there. Frank says he wants to buy this. <laughs> you see, right there. I'd like to go go in there and look at it, but around the back, but it's private property, so probably shouldn't. But it's been empty for like ever. And every time we drive by, it's like, let's stop, let's stop. I thought I'd show you what we're dealing with here. I've had to build us a path to the RV because it has rained so much that you just soak up in the yard. This is a nice spot, but this is how we have to get to the car. Look at that. <laughs> it's nasty. Nasty. Oh God, I got stuck. Alright, so we just figured out that we have two uh, fresh water tanks and then there's something else really cool that I'll show you in a minute. Um, ignore the mess, we haven't cleaned the cubbies yet since we got it. But here is the first fresh water tank. We, this is the one we didn't know about. We, <laughs> I guess we haven't, we haven't explored all of the guts you know uh, the tanks and stuff yet we've been working on the inside but yeah so here's one fresh water tank and let's go look at the other one okay so we come around to the back of the rv and oh. here is another fresh water tank and i've checked it's two separate tanks but I think they have a hose connecting the two together. Um, I don't know. We just now discovered this. But also, okay, now let me show you the cool thing. So over here, this is like a, a switch valve. This hose, uh, you can run it into a well, I guess, or you can pull it next to a creek or some kind of water source outside and you can actually draw water from the ground so that would be pretty neat uh, if we're boondocking and can't find a fresh water fill you know I, I wouldn't drink the water but it would be good for flushing toilets and stuff I guess I don't know we'll have to look into it thank you All right, so the people before us, obviously nobody winterized it because nobody was living in it. And it looks like the hot water heater probably froze up and busted because this is slap full of water. And the sink faucet, the pipes running through it, it busted. That's not a big deal, but the hot water heater, that's a big deal. Because now I guess we need a new one. <laughs> Uh, and we weren't getting any water to the anywhere really just the bathroom sink but everywhere else it was nothing and I guess because it couldn't prime because water was squirting out back here Frank just yelled out that we have water in the kitchen now so that's good this mud 
ain't no joke, man. God, it's horrible. Trying to work in it. Alright guys, so this is what we have to tackle next. That used to be cabinets and such, and we ripped it all out, and we're going to build a bunker. And we got a lot to do there as well. <sighs> so here's something else we did. We had some extra flooring, and we needed uh, something pretty to go behind the bed for the headboard. So we just put floor in there. Frank thinks it's a little tacky because it looks like the floor's rolling up onto the wall. But hey, I'm all for using what you got. So I don't want to waste this flooring and I think it I think it looks pretty good. Speaking of flooring, we got pretty much all of our flooring down. It looks a little janky in some spots because in RVs the floor is not always straight. And it humps up in some places, but it worked for us. Another big project we've got coming up we're going to be working on is our ceiling. It's going to be kind of like shiplap, but a DIY version. <laughs> uh, a cheaper DIY version. But that's probably going to be the last big thing we do. we got to get this bunk built and finish the plumbing in the bathroom. Uh, our faucet that we had is busted and the hot water heater tank, I'm sorry, the water heater tank, Frank gets mad when I say hot water heater. <laughs> the water heater tank we found out is busted as well so we have to order one of those that's like two fifty, three hundred dollars but it is what it is, gotta do it we still haven't figured out our fresh water fill yet. It's still stuck on the black tank wash. And I don't know. We haven't figured it out yet, but we'll get there. I don't know what this guy has done when he remodeled everything. And I'm sure there's probably like a button to switch it from black tank flush to fresh, little bit of fresh water fill. But we haven't figured it out yet. It's been way too muddy behind the RV to even dig around back there and walk around back there so we kind of just stopped for now and moved on to other projects but we'll get around to it just like we're getting around to everything else anyhow thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already